Well hello viewers, today we're going to boot up Windows 11 23H2 um, to, a, to an iSCSI SAN server. Um, this is a diskless boot. So here we are booting here to um, UEFI PXCIP4 from an Ethernet card. As you can see there are no hard drives in this computer. So let's get started. So now we're going to PXC. And now it's going to IPXC. And now I should go to SAM boot. Now as you can see it's now registered now on iSCSI. Now this might take a bit of a while because it is going through a um, um, a back-to-back -back GFast modem. But as you can see, it's definitely booting to Windows 11 23 H2. So I'm going to stop the video for the time being, and um, and I'll show you basically when it gets to the um, to the desktop. Well, we passed the boot up stage. Now we are on the logon screen. Um, this is the Windows 11 23 H2 logon screen, as you can see. Um, so let's log in. Um, so there's the mouse over there. So we made it past. That's my that's my login account. So I got to open the password and let me just hold the screen over here. I think I typed in something wrong here. And here we are. Um, this is the uh, Windows 11. Um, 23H2 desktop as you can see over here uh, the diskless setup um, so all the updates have been applied um, now this uh, system um, the way it was installed uh, this was installed through third-party clients of any kind or drivers or anything what we basically did is we got the, um, the disk of Windows 11 installed it directly to the iSCSI target once it was done, we simply just boot it over. So that's because a normal installation, except it was done through, it was basically installed to the target and then booted from the target. So that's all we basically did anyway. As you can see, it boots up perfectly fine. To show you that it's basically from the iSCSI, I'm going to press Control or Shift Escape for Task Manager. And we'll just wait for Task Manager to pop up. We do recommend a 10 gig um, per second um, Ethernet network. Not running for a back-to-back -back GFast modem from Netsys. Um, and let's go to here performance and let's bring task manager over here. And as we can see over here, um, there it is. This zero, which is the C drive, we have it installed. It says free BSD iSCSI this device. And this is where my installation um, um, in, in Windows is on LAN 1 my um, FreeBSD iSCSI um, this device over here anyway so there you have it anyway um, so as you can see over here um, let me just bring it zoom a bit closer um, so we have the so basically both of these discs over here um, basically belong to a um, Exigma NAS um, um, SAN device which is basically running iSCSI and you can see that's my Ethernet over there basically um, um, doing IOs on iSCSI, input outputs. Okay, I'll launch my computer. As soon as it pops up, of course. Give you have time. So we do recommend using an SSD. Um, we do recommend using write cache and read cache, and we do recommend using um, 10 gigs minimum for this. Um, so far, the the bottleneck is the modem back-to-back -back GFast modem, which is 700, 500, um, basically, which is not the very best optimal speed of it anyway. But anyway, this is um, this is where it's, this is where Windows is running, and this is the installation we installed from anyway. Um, and this is my physical DVD drive. It's the only physical device that I have installed on my computer. These two are discless anyway. They're running from an iSCSI target. 
So as you can see, this is basically a diskless setup. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a web browser. So I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna pop a web browser, and um, I'll show you how you can actually run basically normal internet. Well, we are now on the internet. Um, so this is the Google site. So we have internet uh, enabled on this computer, which makes perfectly sense. Um, it's like using a typical PC, except the hard drives are not locally um, running here. Um, the hard drives are on the storage air network. Um, so it's so all the same thing, except basically it's just running all remotely, basically. Um, the data basically is stored in the cloud, and you just basically um, process it here locally. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let me play some audio and video uh, just to show you basically how they run anyway. Um, it's the 4K Ultra HD edition, um, supports screencast, YouTube, um, app it um, It's not the really best, it's more like an entry level device. Um, to be honest with you, um, I'm going to talk a bit more about it basically. Um, I'm using the Hacker Ref to transmit a DVP to signal to it. Um, and I found out basically that it doesn't perform really well. Um, so I'll talk more about it basically, but for just general um, standard and HD, it does a quite a good job. For full HD, not so bad. Uh, so as you can see, um, this is my channel, Winstar Zero, uh, DBT to HackRF. And as you can see, we can play back YouTube videos with sound and everything, just like you would do, would, what you would do in a normal PC. Um, in fact, this is a normal PC, except without any hard drives. Um, the only difference, it runs on a storage area network, on a SAN. Um, it could be true NAS, it could be a Sigma NAS, um, it could be a Synology NAS. Um, you know, it's all the same thing as a typical um, PC, except it's all running on a... Um, uh, the, it's like a hard drive, it's a remote drive, basically. It's all what it is, basically. Uh, so there's... Not really much of a difference, basically all the games run basically locally here, except all the data resides remotely on a storage of a network. So, um, yeah, um, there's basically no difference here anyway. It just depends on your network I.O. Um, and basically how you basically set up basically your, your SAN anyway. It's a shame it's a bit slow because of my back-to-back -back GFast mode and from Netsys. Um, but it's pretty good anyway, better than wireless. Uh, I tried this on Wi-Fi, and it was too slow to do it over Wi-Fi. Um, but um, GFast is actually a lot more faster. Um, um, but anyway, um, there you go anyway. Um, Windows 11 23H, and you know, I'll show you WinWare, what I'm up to anyway, to give, you, to give you some insight. Well, here we are. This is Windows 11. As you can see, uh, it's Windows 11 Enterprise. 23H2, so this is with all the latest updates applied, even through the iSCSI target, so you can update Windows like you usually do, um, and it won't break the, um, the um, you know, the, the boot, um, so this is basically, you know, the, you know, as I said, there's no third-party clients or any third-party software installed here to make it boot through iSCSI, this is just the vanilla install, um, and you can see basically this is just the latest version here installed. Keep in mind for this to work, you do need a supported um, computer for this to work. This only works on newer machines. Um, well, of course, Windows Windows 11 does new does need newer hardware. Um, but this does show you that you can run this on a diskless node um, on supported hardware anyway. So this is proof of concept anyway. That it does work on newer hardware. Um, the previous video I did for Ubuntu 22.04.4 as well does work as well anyway. And I did show you that in the previous video anyway. But anyway, um, I thought, I, I hope this actually does bring a bit of insight um, to, um, for those who might decide to run a Windows 11, uh, maybe Windows 10 on a diskless node. Um, I haven't tested Windows 10 actually on a diskless node. Um, Windows 10 might become depreciated later in time. Um, you know, Windows 11 is next gen. Um, you know, it's next OS going to be replace it. I believe 24 is coming out. The 24H2, if I'm right, from memory. So 
you know, I haven't really bothered with Windows 10. Um, but anyway, um, there it is, Windows 11 on iSCSI. Um, and for those um, um, who might want to um, learn from this, feel free to leave any comments. Um, I am an IT consultant. Um, 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 and, um, you know, I, 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 I will um, respond back. Um, um, and um, I will work at a price. Um, and, um, and I'll get back to touching you. Uh, for any business needs that this might be related to anyway. Okay, thanks so much. Bye